Hello everyone, my name is Claudia Lillibridge and I am so excited to be reading for you today. The book I'm going to be reading to you is called Pig the Pug. Funny story is I used to have a pug, her name was Snortisha. We called her Snort for short. I now have another dog, her name is Bella. She's a Labrador Retriever. So I am very much looking forward to reading this for you and here we go. This book belongs to Pig. Pig the Pug. Pig was a pug and I'm sorry to say he was greedy and selfish in most every way. He lived in a house with a wiener dog, Trevor, but when he was nice to him, I'll tell you, never. You've got some great toys there, poor Trevor would say, but Pig would just grumble, they're mine, go away. But it might be more fun, Trevor said to Pig, if we've both played together. Well, Pig flipped his wig. No, they are mine, didn't you hear? Only mine. You keep your paws off them. They are mine, mine, mine. I know what your game is. You want me to share, but I'll never do that. I won't, and I swear. And with that, he proceeded to gather his stuff and make a big pile with a huff and a puff. And once he had gathered them up in a pile, he howled from the top with a satisfied smile. There, shouted Pig, now you won't get my loot. It's mine, 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 mine. So why don't you scoot? But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see the pile was wobbling. Oh, dear me. Watch out up there, good Trevor did cry. But the shame of it was, well, pugs cannot fly. These days, it's different, I'm happy to say. It's so very different in most every way. Yes, Pig shares his toys now and Trevor's his friend, and they both play together. Well, Pig's on the mend. Thank you all for letting me read to you today. I think I actually have put Bella to sleep. So thank you, everyone, and I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you.